Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you happen to hate what you see, don't forget to smash that dislike button. Because you gotta make sure to show the world that you hate me! Or that you're just an idiot. Let's get on to the show. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I'd love to be making a video about this game right here, God of War. A game that I rented from Redbox, and it is fantastic. It is no surprise. It is no wonder why it's getting such rave reviews. This very well could end up being the game of the year in 2018. It's just crazy to think about that a lot of these great games are coming out so early. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. I'm here to talk about something that is completely stupid. Because if I had my way, I wouldn't be making this video. I'd be playing this game. I'd be getting as much time as I possibly could playing this game. But because something really stupid happened, I am right here making this video. So what are you talking about, Down Phoenix? Well, let's get right into that. So apparently, IGN made a Facebook post as well as an Instagram post asking people if they can spot the difference. Now, that's not something that's uncommon for IGN to do. This is something that they do for a lot of multi-platform games. The funny thing about this, though, is this was not a multi-platform game. This was for an exclusive title, namely the God of War game that I just shown. It showed a screenshot of the game on the PS4 version and on the Xbox One version, a black screen. A really funny meme, indeed. As a matter of fact, similar memes have been circulating the internet Except not just singling out Xbox One, they also showed PC and Nintendo Switch having black screens as well. It's a meme that's really funny in this regard because the Xbox often gets lambasted for the lack of strong exclusive titles. I mean, just look at comments all over the internet. I mean, it's obvious that Microsoft has a little bit of a problem. But apparently just not having exclusives isn't enough for Microsoft because they also had to complain about IGN's posts on Twitter. It got to a point where IGN's editor, Ryan McCaffrey, actually made a public apology to the Xbox team, as well as deleting those posts. It's just insane. I mean, this was something that is just meant as a lighthearted joke, a little bit of a fun jab at a game company that does have a problem with exclusive titles this generation. It seems like they're having so much of a problem that they're now bundling all of their future exclusive titles into the Xbox Game Pass service. Which sounds like a really great idea. I got a chance to play Sea of Thieves. I look forward to playing State of Decay 2 next month with that service. But with the lack of exclusive titles that Microsoft has and the lack of development studios, how much of a value is that going to even have? It's just simply ridiculous the lack of strong exclusive titles that Microsoft has had this generation. I mean, Xbox was pretty much the top dog for a good chunk of last generation. What exactly had happened? I mean, there's a lot of theories as to what exactly did happen. I personally blame the direction that the Xbox brand has took ever since Don Matrick became the head of the Xbox division. And Phil Spencer, although he is working to kind of reverse a lot of the mistakes that Matrick made, he's still got a lot of work to do, clearly. And apparently part of that work includes making sure that executives like Aaron Greenberg can take a joke. I mean, come on, it is 2018. The console wars have always been around. It's not like Sega was acting all pissy whenever Sony or Nintendo would take jabs at them during the Saturn era and the failures that they had there. So what gives, Microsoft? Why are you guys so outraged over something that's just meaningless? Why don't you guys just answer back with a, I don't know, like Crackdown 3? spot the difference and show that oh there's no crackdown 3 on the uh, ps4 which i know it's not exactly the same thing i don't think anybody's really as hyped for crackdown 3 as people have been for god of war maybe there are some people out there that are huge crackdown fans but i think the gaming public as a whole are a lot more fond of some of sony's third-party exclusives that being said microsoft has a chance to answer back let's not be whiny little bitches Let's not stoop to this level to where we have to ask gaming websites to take down things for us. And then they, of course, cuck into your demands. No, let's just answer back with good exclusives. What a mind-blowing concept that is. 
How about a new Halo game, a new Gears of War game, a new Forza game? I mean, those games aren't problems for you guys, but how about a lot more than that? I mean, when was the last time we saw a game like Crimson Skies or Perfect Dark or numerous other excellent Xbox exclusive games? Or heck, even just take the route of buying out third parties for time exclusivity. Do something, Microsoft. You can't just buy people with more powerful hardware and subscription services. Those are both great things to have, but people don't buy game systems for those reasons. They buy the game systems for what games they can play on them. And when the average gamer looks at the library that's available for the Xbox versus the PS4, I imagine that most of them are probably going to go with PS4 just because they see the library is a lot larger, both in terms of exclusive titles and just games in general. So you guys need to step your game up. I mean, come on, it's console wars, guys. Start fighting back. Don't be little bitches. If I was Ryan McCaffrey, I would bring those memes back and I would tell Xbox to suck it because this is a doggy dog world in the gaming industry and you guys need to put up or shut up. Let me know in the comments below if you guys agree with this or what kind of stance you have as far as this. But anyways, uh, till then, down Phoenix out. So apparently IGN had posted a... So apparently IGN made a post on Facebook and Instagram telling... So apparently... So apparently IGN and Facebook... So apparently, IGN made a Facebook post as well as an Instagram post 